watch this, lady. Oh, oh, ah. Ow. Because I wanted to. Ooh, ah. Sweat's the name, and I enjoy hacking the game. Welcome back, boys, to another tutorial. Today, we will create the rapid fire hack. This feature removes the cooldown between shots in shooter games. For example, you can shoot instantly without any recover. This basically creates an admin gun for your favorite game. The method works for a lot of games because they use similar logic, but not all remember that. Also, leave a like, let me know in the comments on what other feature I should cover, and join the Discord server. Now, don't be a douche. Do not use sheets for unfair advantages. Do not use it in multiplayer. You will get banned. Just don't do it. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled. Now enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's showcase. Today's tutorial, we will create the rapid fire feature. So in our game, this is puzzle two, you can have weapons, but they don't fire as fast as we want. There's a delay between the shots. So what we will do in this tutorial is to find the cooldown and remove that. So I have a script here. If we enable it, it allows us to shoot instantly. Yeah, he got. <laughs> oh. So, it's a fun feature, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's tutorial. So, you will need Sheet Onion. I have a tutorial on installing Sheet Onion without any bloatware, adware, a lot of that. And once you have Sheet Onion installed, we can jump right into this. So, I have Sheet Onion. I have my game, Puzzle 2. It's your usual FPS game. And the Deagle in this game, you can shoot it quite fast, but it's not rapid. You can't shoot instantly when you click. So what we will do is we will find the value that's set in between each shot or a value that corresponds to the cooldown between each time you fire. So for example, it's set to zero now, which means it's the cooldown is complete, and once you shoot, the value jumps up and ticks down again when you're able to shoot again, or when the cooldown expires. So, let's try that theory by searching for a float type of value and zero, because the cooldown has expired, we're ready to shoot. Search for zero. Then... What we will do is we will shoot, making the cooldown active, and pause the game. So, like that. Now, the game is paused, but the cooldown is active. If we unpause, we can see that it's still unactive. So, let's try that again. Shoot, pause, and now search for increased value. Because the cooldown is active, go back in the game, and now search for decreased value because the cooldown is low again. Now we repeat this. Shoot, pause, increased value. Wait for it in game. Decreased value. And now to remove a lot of unneeded addresses, you can see these are changing, but we haven't shot yet. We will search for unchanged value. About 30,000 addresses disappeared when we did that. So we will go back to 
Shooting, pausing, increased value. Wait, decreased value, can unchanged value. I have hotkeys for these buttons. We can set them in the settings under the hotkeys tab. Increase value, decrease value, and unchanged value. And we will be keeping or keep doing this until we have only a few addresses left. Okay, so once you have an amount of addresses that you're happy with, you can try to freeze these to perhaps set the rapid fire feature going. So if we remove the cooldown or freeze it, we wouldn't have to wait for that to trigger, is the idea. But let's... Uh, Let's try it out. What you do is you click the first one, then shift click the last one to then hit the arrow to get them into the address table. Now, uh, let's try to evade odd looking numbers like the E minus six and so on because it doesn't make a lot of sense to write them out or have them as a cooldown value. Uh, so what we do is we click the column on value to push them back. So we have high to high to low. So let's try. Now this might crash your game, so be careful on which values you are changing. I will change these ones or what you can do is you select one, then shift and spacebar to freeze them. So select one, shift, next one, spacebar freeze. So I wasn't able to shoot again at an instant, which means these are not cooldown values. We remove them and go to the next ones. Nothing value, so we will continue. All right, no rapid fire there. And you can see the E values here. Let's ignore them and only try the last two values. So what you can see now is that we have found our rapid fire. So let's remove all of the rest delete and delete our uh, slow mo video that we found somehow and keep these ones so it's reset now let's activate the first one to find out that it's the second one and we have cooldown value so if we freeze this now means we have rapid fire Let's, uh, is there an enemy? Like that. Amazing. So, what you can do now is to find the instructions that writes to this value. Now, this is where the VEH debugger comes in handy. Make sure that you have that from the Sheet Engine installation video. And right click, find out what writes to this address. Capture by shooting. You can see that it goes up by one once we shoot. And click on show disassembler. And here, right click, replace with code that does nothing. Now we have a proper rapid fire. Let's try it out with. Those bullets are gone, but you have found now the rapid fire method. Let me know if you guys want me to 
code this in C sharp. Maybe use in GUI to access this feature. But uh, with that covered, we will end this tutorial.